This is the couch that we went with. Oh my god! It's just the push I needed. Oh, that's the head. Ah! I haven't cried on camera in a long time. I'm, I'm due some tears. I am due a breakdown. Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Or welcome if you're new here. My name is Ella. I'm 26. I live in Adelaide. I am just out here trying to live my best life. Truly. Do you want to say hello? Good morning. Oh, we took her. We got up like six o'clock this morning and took her before we had to leave for work. We're both heading into the office this morning. You're coming home at lunch, aren't you, babe? Yeah. And my mum's going to drop by this morning. Oh, that's your head. And those are my... Oh. Yeah, we both have to head into office. Nick's gonna come home at lunch. Mum's gonna drop by as well so she can hang out with her for a little bit so she won't actually be alone for very long. But yeah, I have a busy day ahead. I have work from 8 till 5 today because I have a team meeting this morning. So I'm gonna head in early, all dressed, ready for the work day. But you did such a good job on your walk this morning, didn't you? She loved it. Hello you guys, happy Friday. I don't think I picked up the camera since Monday. I'm my vlogs are all over the place at the moment. I did vlog Tuesday, but that was in last week's vlog. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm yeah, here, there, and everywhere. I've had so many different collaborations this month, which I'm so grateful for, and I'm literally so excited, like everyone I'm working with is a dream but because of that my content has been a little bit all over the place so i do apologize but it is friday i'm working from home today because our couch just got delivered i had to be here for it simply had to we had to wait around all day on wednesday for it and it never came so you best believe i got my karen on and um, asked them to waive the delivery fee which was 105 dollars they just set it up i saw them bring in like the first couple of pieces but i actually haven't seen what it looks like I'm so oh, oh my gosh. Wow. She's big. Yeah, no, that's but like I think when we move this. Yeah. Thank god we didn't get the bigger one. I know. That's nice. I haven't sat on it yet. Yeah, once the desk is out of the way. That looks so good. We could probably move it over. Hi. <laughs> that looks good. That's nice. We also got the chair. Ignore the state of our house at the moment. I think we need to push it back. And then, yeah, once we got the rug. I think it looks good though. I love the color. Maybe watch out for it too. Yeah. That wasn't that much. Too much? Uh -huh. That's almost perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm waiting for this. That's so long. That's yeah, I think that's a better position. Mm. I don't, do Once the desk is gone, it's just like I'm feeling really cluttered in here. Yeah, right? I know it's the desk. Do you reckon? I don't know if we need anything in there over there. If we just put the lamp and like her crate. Good morning, guys. It is now Saturday. We are up. And we are at it. We've just taken Missy Moo to the dog park for a little run around. She made like the cutest friend. What was it? It was a, it was a Cavalier King Charles Cross Border Collie, wasn't it? Correct. It was really cute. And they like really matched each other's energy. It was very. And sweet. it was eight months old, so it was like old enough to know what to do, but also like still had like chaotic puppy energy that we love. Yeah, they were best friends. Now we've just come to our boy Roy, which we haven't been here since like January. It was really the good way you last said summer. that. It was like our boy. Our Roy. boy Roy. <laughs> but it's actually called our boy. Roy. Our boy Roy. <laughs> yeah, we've come to our boy Roy for Brecky now, and then we're gonna head into the city because I need to get some new sneakers. I don't think I told you guys, but you did say it. No, I don't think oh, it, cut it out I think block, I, but. yeah, that clip didn't make the cut, but my shoes were stolen <laughs> from my own house. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I did leave them outside, which is stupid to begin with, yeah. but someone decided to um, pinch them. But the worst so, part is that mine were sitting there and they chose not to steal them. <laughs> Literally, two <laughs> pairs of shoes. They've just taken mine. They've decided, Nick's, we don't want them. His dad's shoes, no, 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 no. Only New Balance fit my feet. I can't be clearer about this. It's that is so fault. insulting to you. I, I want them to they've be They've gone out of their way to steal my shoes yeah. and they've decided, oh, no, nah, don't want those. They've actively decided. They've actively made that decision. No, 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 we don't want those dad's shoes. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Anyway, I did, to be fair, need new shoes. Obviously, it's annoying because, like, 
I want to wear my sneakers until I buy new ones and it's not nice to have something stolen. But yeah, I did need to get new ones anyway. So it's just the push I needed. Okay, flowers from Nicholas. How cute. They're just sitting on our doorstep. He got them delivered from Posey and Flute. So pretty. Very spoiled. Aren't we so lucky? I ended up having a very successful time at the shops. I got not one, but two pairs of shoes, which is so unlike me, but Maya were having like 30, 40% off all of their shoes, like most of the shoe brands. So I got a pair of sneakers. As I said, mine was stolen. Yanning, not me literally preaching about how safe I feel in our new house and then my shoes are stolen from my doorstep. But I got these. I kind of like them, like a little bit of color. They're the Adidas Ultra Bounce, originally $140 and I think they were like $85 on sale. And then I've been eyeing off a pair of New Balance for a while now. And I saw these. They're originally $180. And I kid you not, I got them for like $105. So good. How cute are they? Ah, I love them. So kind of a little crazy, but I don't really buy shoes for myself that often. So stocked up, literally got two pairs for the price of one, essentially. Hello, Maple Mimi. Hi. Oh yeah, so exciting. Do you like our new couch? I think tonight we're gonna sort this out and actually move the desk upstairs so that we can get like the full vision of the living room. Don't mind the state of our house right now. There's just stuff here, there and everywhere. Also, I finally got myself a Uniqlo bag. I feel like such a basic white girl, but I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna have a pretty chill night tonight. We're gonna rearrange our living room so I can show you guys the full couch setup and like run you through the specifics because I'm sure I'm gonna get questions. I already put like a little sneak peek on my Instagram story and everyone was like, where's the couch from? So I'll show you guys that once everything is situated. I'm gonna move the desk upstairs finally, which is gonna be an ordeal within itself because it was hard enough to get down. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like to get up, but we're gonna tackle that tonight. And I think I'm gonna make chicken curry for dinner. I'm just gonna like tidy up around the house. We really need to, what's it called? What's it called? We need a really leaf blow. Leaf blow? Is that, oh, why am I blanking so much? We need a leaf. <laughs> God, we're in struggle down today. We need to get rid of the leaves. Look at the state of our garden right now. This is from like a couple of days of leaves. Look at this. How bad is that? Oh, oh my gosh. This is darn tree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Mabel loves it, which is the main thing. Show you in a moment but i would love to know your thoughts and feelings we don't want to rush the decision like we're not desperate to fill the space but there definitely needs to be something there so. i feel like the lamp looks better there because we've got like the 
singular chair. It's like a little reading hook yeah. almost. Yeah, maybe some shelving. Yeah, I think that might and, be the go. And a bar cart? No, nah, I feel like you've got to do one or the other. A floating shelving, bar cart on the bottom. Yeah, maybe. What do you think, Mabel? Oh, insert a clip of what we're talking about so you guys have some context. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've moved the desk, the living room feels so much more open, but then I'm like, there needs to be something there. Yeah, but don't want anything too big either because you still got the. Um, you want to keep it open. Shades. Yeah, like we don't want to cram it, but there, I feel like there needs to be something there. Yeah. I feel like once we add either shelving or like artwork, yeah, it will like artwork, fill the wall. It's yeah. just like a blank white wall at the moment. So. I think the fact it's white is probably accentuating its blankness. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's looking extra blank. It's the sun and the time. You don't go for that in the vlog, right? Why not? I've got a voice like an angel. I've got a voice. <laughs> I thought it was Harry Styles in the room with me. Welcome to the final show. <laughs> Can I come up? <laughs> Hi, Mabel. You look gorgeous. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, my kiss. such nice kisses. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's officially been six weeks as dog parents. How do you feel? Very good. Oh, I'm light on you. Yeah, so yeah, I'm getting on you. <laughs> People don't want to see me. They're not paying to see me. Or yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me. Yeah. How have the first six weeks as a good. dog dad? I enjoyed it. She's good. She's good for ah ah. We're not going to do that. <laughs> She's actually so good. Like, I know, I'm sure everyone thinks that, but she really is like such a good puppy. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. She sleeps through the night. She's like, I would say, house trained, essentially. Touch wood. It's interesting tomorrow because we moved the desk. Yeah, now that we won't be down here with her, like constantly watching her. It, and she'll be upstairs be more as well. Yeah. Do you think that you have to have the faith? Like if she goes downstairs, am I just having the faith? Well, we've got the furbo so we can watch her. Use my code. Yeah. Or use your code, Mabel. <gasps> Is that the code? You got your own code. We have you. Um. Yeah, but she is so good. Like her recall is incredible. We've been letting her off the beach every time we've gone, which is like three or four times now. And every time she comes back so easily. Even someone commented that today, like they could not let their dog off for ages because they couldn't get them back. Which I mean, the more confident she gets, probably the harder it will become. But I think if we've instilled that like solid training, it's something we practice pretty much since we got her as a way of like tiring her out. And then obviously just wanting to train her. Your ears are She's not the best at drinking. As long as you get a big drink. Oh, I know. <laughs> I also feel like she kind of unintentionally matches our house. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants to go to the dog park, she told me. Should we go to the dog park? Exactly. It's such a nice day, look. Like, why not? Yeah, exactly. And we did the hard part of our house mm. <laughs> So we'll do the rest next Sunday. <laughs> no. It's nice. It's like, once we do finish it, and I was joking, we should do it or something. It would be like it's done. It would be like the first time we've had like a proper... Should we put the rug down? Yeah. We have seriously been blessed with like the most incredible weather the last week. I cannot get over it. Come on, Mabel. Feeling hashtag blessed. Just having the sunshine. Like I don't mind the winter. I don't mind the cold. I'll take it. But as long as there's sun, I feel like rejuvenated. Don't you? Yeah, certainly a bit better. Like revived. I've risen from the dead. Feeling like I have a new lease. On life. <laughs> Is it gonna be nice weather next week? I really hope. So. <laughs> what else are we gonna do this afternoon? Potter around. Potter? Harry? Where'd you even Potter? I don't it's... think I haven't even watched it last year. I didn't even watch it for two years. Did we watch it last year? I feel like we did. No, I think we watched one when it was on TV. No, I'm pretty sure we watched it. Didn't we watch it with mum and dad? Maybe we'll watch Harry Potter. It is the season for I feel like winter, autumn, winter time is like perfect Harry Potter weather. But then once we start, we have to finish watching. Yeah. And, we and can we commit to that? I'm, I have a very busy week coming up, so I don't know if I can commit. Maybe we just do like. To a week or something. No, it's not so fun like that. It's I'm just me. You're Granger. standing in my sunlight. I'm Hermione Granger. And, and you, you are. are... <laughs> Bob Weasley. No happy ending. This is the way you love. love. Like we forever. And the rest of our life. But like not together. together. Wake up in the morning. Summer in my eyes. <laughs> Look at her. She, she was into that. Are you so happy? Because your whole family is together? Yeah! Here it is. The grand reveal of our living area. I'm actually so obsessed with it. Are you Mabel Moo? Yeah. Um, still need to figure everything out, like how everything is gonna 
be situated, but for now, I'm really vibing this. This is the couch that we went with. It's from Nick Scully. It's the Spencer couch in the color stone. I think it's the Friday fabric from memory. It's actually really big. We were almost contemplating getting the three-seater and I'm so glad we didn't because we just simply would not have had the room. We got the 2.5-seater with the chaise. And then this is our new armchair, which is also from Nick Scarly. This is the Barrel Swivel Armchair in Coda Light Grey. I wish you guys could see it in person. It's actually so beautiful. The fabric is like stunning. It does swivel, which is iconic. And I just think it's a really nice like, contrast between the couch and this. Obviously, we could have got it to match and done the same fabric. But I'm actually really glad that we didn't. It's just like a nice little bit of contrast while still being neutral and yeah we definitely need something on this wall i'm not sure what yet whether we just do like shelving We've got mabel's crate in the corner for now but that won't be there forever i don't know i don't know and i really like this lamp originally we got the lamp for that corner i really like the lamp here because we've got like the little armchair situation i just think it looks really cute like a little reading nook cozy corner we could also move it there i don't know well, let me know your thoughts and feelings, but I'm just so happy to have a couch. Finally. Good morning, you guys. Happy. Is it Tuesday today? I think it's Tuesday. <laughs> I know. Happy Tuesday. I have a busy day ahead of me. I think I'm actually going to upload this vlog today. So happy Tuesday if you're watching this the day it's gone live. I'm trying to like catch up with my vlogs because um, I've been a little bit all over the place i'm sorry if the camera moves mabel's chewing her toy on the bed yeah i think i'm gonna upload this vlog today um so i can catch up and be like back on my schedule so happy tuesday i hope you guys have had a great day watch me not upload this tonight what's wrong do you need to go outside outside okay one moment <laughs> i have quite a lot i want to get done today um i'm filming a little day in my life for an instagram reel so that'll be fun sometimes i struggle with managing vlogging and also getting short form content at the same time i find it really difficult just like constantly remembering to pick up my camera but and then also get footage on my phone it's a real struggle real first world problem <laughs> but i will try my best doing a little day in my life which will be fun and then i have a couple of instagram stories that i need to get as well so just a real like content filled day i have a bunch of emails i need to reply to i find that i really just like put off my emails until like either the weekend or tuesdays and thursdays when i have the time off of work which kind of makes sense like i'm um, monday wednesday friday i'm at my travel agent job like i'm there to work i don't need to be checking my emails when i'm on my lunch break or before and after work like it's not i don't know i need to have better balance in that regard but the last couple of weeks actually i've you may have noticed i'm a little bit like all over the place with my upload schedule i've been really struggling to like keep up with everything i don't know if i i'm just really bad with my time management skills and that's definitely an area like i could definitely work on always i feel like i'm always behind or well, not behind but like i'm always just there do you know what i mean like i'm always just keeping up it's not really not a nice feeling so I, i'm trying to get this vlog up today so that i can like start getting ahead again and um just you know stick to my my usual routine i'm a real routine kind of gal and if i'm out of routine i feel out of sorts so yeah i think i just need to work on my time management skills really if any of you have any tips or advice please let me know <laughs> i have definitely not been utilizing my google cow or like any kind of planning facility so i need to get back to that because my google cow is usually my saving grace and i just haven't been using it as much as i normally do but i feel like with planning you have to have the motivation to want to plan and i just haven't really been having that i don't know if i need to like change it up a little bit i do need to try out notion that was one of my goals last month and i just never got around to it but i'm just like very intimidated it just seems very complex or maybe just my workload is a little bit too much and the thing is it's not always like this like i don't always have sponsored content like it really does go it comes and goes in waves in the words of dean lewis so there are some weeks or even months where i just like don't really have any content to make other than like my usual stuff it's when there's sponsored stuff and there's like deadlines that i really like have to be more on top of my game which is like fair enough obviously brands are paying you to submit content on time and it's almost like working for someone it's the same way with my corporate job but it just seems like everything comes at once like this month for example i think i'm working with like six 
different brands I want to say which is amazing and I'm not complaining in the slightest this is literally my dream like I've been working towards this for so long so I'm definitely not complaining because even looking back like six months ago I was not in this position so I am definitely not saying this in a negative way or complaining about this at all but I don't even know where I was going with this whoa my hair strainer just switched off because I've been taking my time I'm so sorry yeah I don't even know where I was going that I could just feel like a lot at once sometimes and that's just kind of what I've been experiencing the last couple weeks but I'm feeling good like I'm feeling really happy and I'm like so excited about everyone that I'm working with and I, I feel like I'm actually living my dream life right now I know that's such a cliche thing to say I was reflecting on this this morning with Nick we were walking Mabel on the beach and she's such an angel on the beach like she just stays really close like she plays with the other dogs but she always comes back and she's like very good off leash so far touch wood and I was just like this is literally the life that we have been working towards and the life that we've been dreaming about for so long. And I know that sounds so cheesy and cliche, but it's so true. We have been going for beach walks, for example, for years. Since the beginning of our relationship, it was like our favorite thing to do together. And for the last five years, we've been talking about the day that we would eventually be doing this with our own dog. And now we're doing it? It's just very surreal. And I think it's really easy, especially in this modern world, like there's always something, you're always chasing something else. But to actually sit back and relax, oh my God, I could get emotional thinking about this. Ah! I haven't cried on camera in a long time. I'm, I'm due some tears. I am due a breakdown. It's just so easy to get caught up in the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. But to actually sit back and reflect on where we are now, like we are in our first home, like a dream first home. We have our dog our own dog, our beautiful little Cocker Spaniel. We have a really solid, beautiful relationship and beautiful friends and beautiful family and really good jobs that we both really enjoy. I, just over six months ago, was not in the position that I'm in. Like to be able to have the privilege to work three days a week and then work two days for myself on my own stuff is like such a privilege. I love being a travel agent. I also love working part-time and still having the time to focus on my own stuff and like, do things for me I don't know like even this house for example like it's so easy to forget we waited 18 months for this house to be built and almost every single day we talked about the day that we would finally be living there and now we are we're living our everyday life in our house in this beautiful home but like you it's just so easy to forget what that feeling and just focus on the next thing you know what I mean I don't know I don't even know how we got into this topic but <laughs> I'm feeling grateful I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed but like in the best way possible and it's really all thanks to you guys like I actually mean that this house even some of these bricks you guys actually we don't have any bricks never mind <laughs> you guys helped us get here which is just so amazing it's actually such a fulfilling thing to be able to work for yourself and have a community that helps support you not only financially but also just like emotionally like I feel like you guys have really been there through it all and you will continue to be there through it all, which is just like incredible. Anyway, I'm really in my feels today. I'm overwhelmed with everything I have going on, <laughs> but in the best way. And I just wanted to thank you guys. I feel like I say it, but I, I don't say it enough. So thank you for helping me live my best life. Point is, I think it's really easy to get caught up in the next thing and the next thing and achieving the next goal or the next milestone. But actually, if you just like sit back and really take it all in, everything that you've achieved over the last six months year two years whatever it is it doesn't even have to be like materialistic like a house is like kind of materialistic but just like the personal growth as well in that i feel like i have really gained a lot of confidence in like going after what i truly want and i think for a long time i kind of stopped doing that i feel like i've always been a bit of a go-getter like i kind of just do my own thing i mean i moved to canada when i was 18 by myself for like two years which is actually wild to me like i've never been worried to do my own thing or go down my own path but i think there was a, a period of time where i was just kind of doing things because i thought that was the right thing to do or i was worried what other people would think or didn't have the confidence in myself to follow my path and do what i wanted to actually do and now I am. And I don't actually think I physically took that leap of faith myself in like going part time with my social media. The rug was kind of just ripped out from underneath me and I lost my job. And that was really like the catalyst for me reevaluating everything. I guess what people say is true. If you don't make those decisions for yourself and go after what you really want, I think the universe has like a funny way of kind of doing it for you. And I think that was my, my moment. But here I am like six months later, I've been doing my own thing oh my god I haven't even thought about that like for the last six months I have been 
partially financially supporting myself from my social media. How crazy is that? I haven't even given it much thought. See? It's so easy to just focus on the next thing and doing more and working more and hustling more and growing more and I don't know. More, 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 more. No, live in the now. Anyway, this got really deep. Okay, thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I know I've just been talking for the last like 10 minutes straight, but as I was finishing getting ready, curling my hair, I had an epiphany. I think I not only feel overwhelmed, overwhelmed and like maybe I'm over committing and like trying to do too much and I definitely need to work on my time management skills, but I think I'm also not really living in alignment with myself and my values. And that's really like at the core of like why I took on the 186 challenge and why I wanted to start it is to like really strip back a little bit and like focus on myself and living in alignment with my values and what I want from my life. Setting those goals and living in alignment with those goals, with those daily habits, if that makes sense. I don't know. I just had a little light bulb moment. Just wanted to share. I also think I'm very guilty of, and I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but when I feel overwhelmed, I'm always like paralyzed by it. And so then I just end up doing nothing almost. Sounds really bad. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. But it's just like you're so overwhelmed and you don't even know where to start that you just end up like not really achieving anything or it feels like you're not achieving anything. <sighs> anyway, the washing just finished. So Nick and I are going to hang that out now. And we just put on some hash browns. There's a little Tuesday brunch treat. We haven't had breakfast yet and it's like almost 10.30. So going to have some hash browns with avocado on toast and have ourselves a morning. I am obsessed with our living room. It's not perfect and it's definitely not done, but I'm just like loving it. It's really coming together. Also just wanted to share my daily gratitude for these beautiful flowers. I'm obsessed. I think I showed you guys we got these delivered or Nick got them delivered for me on Saturday and they're all blooming. They look so pretty. I haven't had a chance to use this vase yet, but how nice is this from Kmart? Also went to Audi yesterday, obviously did the grocery shopping and I got some new tea towels. What do we think? I feel like I was holding off on getting new details because I wasn't sure what the rest of the living space would look like. Obviously, it's very neutral right now, but you do want to add like little pops of color. I do really like these colors. We also saw some prints. I'll insert a photo of the ones we saw when we went out for breakfast the other morning. And we were thinking of maybe putting them here. So having like two or three, probably three across this wall for like the dining area. And then obviously it would tie in really nicely with these colors or any color really. And then eventually getting some cushions and some other artwork for this living space. This piece of blue tape is bothering me so much. This has been up here since we moved in. The builders still need to cut. I actually think they fixed it. There was like a little paint scratch or something. They just didn't take the piece of tape off and none of us can reach it. So we have really tall ceilings. I guess I could get a step ladder. Do I own a step ladder? Absolutely not. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, finally, Bit the bullet, pulled the pin, and got the damn tea towels. I just really liked the colors of these. I mean, they are just tea towels, and we can change them out, and they do not have to match the rest of our living area, but I am a bit anal about that kind of stuff, so I think this is the vibe, guys. We've got a bit of neutral, a bit of, like, ready coppery colors. Oh, you want to go outside? Good girl. Is she going to wee? Do we think she's going to wee? Do you see that guy? She asked to go outside. Good girl. Oh, what do you got there? A wet paper towel roll, lovely. She doesn't eat it, she just shreds it. Looks like she's smoking like a big cigar. 